Thank you both. Mr. Robertson, with life expectancy increasing, should the age for Social Security eligibility be raised to help it remain solvent? If so, at what rate and over how much time? And please explain your response. Well, and this is again one of the other issues we disagree on. Mr. Arrington last night in the debate in Lubbock said he was for means testing and for raising the age for Social Security recipients. We've entered into a contract with our citizens. We've been taking money out of their paychecks, in some cases 40 years, in some cases 50 years. And for us to change the rules in the middle of the game and say, okay, you're 65 now, but we're gonna raise that age to 67 or 68. And we're gonna do it because we've been siphoning money out of the Social Security fund. It's unfair to the men and women that have paid into that fund to come to you when you turn 65 and to tell you we're not gonna let you have your money back because all of a sudden we're gonna means test and you've made too much money and therefore we don't think you deserve to have your money back and I just cannot agree with it. Now we're gonna have to reform Social Security but the best way to do it is to keep Congress's hands out of the cookie jar. Get that fund back solvent and right now if we continue on the pace we're on it will be insolvent by 2034. But if we're going to change the age of retirement, you can't do it to somebody that's been in the workforce 25, 30, or 40 years. We may need to go back, and if you're in your 20s, 20, 25, we need to start phasing in some changes. But at least we're, we're entering into a deal with a new generation, and we're not changing the rules in the middle of the game. And I'll never support that. Folks, we're losing our country. Do you agree? We're losing it. $19 trillion in debt. It's the millstone around the necks of my kids and your grandkids. We've got to stop sending politicians who don't have the courage to tackle the tough issues. We will lose our country. This is one of those issues nobody wants to talk about. I, I never said last night that I would support changing the rules in the middle of the game for those near retirement and those in retirement. I'm 44 years old. And I've got three young children. By 2034, there will be no Social Security before I retire. 2048, Social Security, Medicare, Medicaid, every dime of tax revenue in our country will be absorbed by those three programs. Now, I can sit here and tickle your ears, or I can tell you the truth. The truth is we've got to do something. And, the, and some of the proposals out there, like changing the, uh, adjusting the age appropriate, because we're living longer and means testing and cost of living adjustments and all kinds of good ideas but if we're not short on ideas in this country ladies and gentlemen whether it's border security or social security we don't have the political courage and if you don't elect people that will lead and deliver results we will lose our country that's my message tonight and every night until the, the end of this election